especially now that we know our two goals are to find magic users in the clover kingdom that can kill a devil and train those users up to vice captain level strength in the next six months i can totally tell why this episode is the new magic knights captain conference because we're gonna have to spread this information around get some info get some new members get some new teams get some new this that and the other i'm excited What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with episodes 130 and 131 of Black Clover. Like I said last episode, we have a new mission of getting stronger within six months to go invade the Spade Kingdom with the Heart Kingdom's queen and the Heart Kingdom, Laura Pechka, her water spirit Undine, and her one of her spirit guardians, Gaja. Gaha. I forget how to pronounce his name, but I am super excited. We are heading back to our area. Let them know what's going on new resolve new everything i'm pumped new arc new training i love training so i'm super excited i gotta find out what happens don't forget if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows i'm watching we are four episodes ahead on patreon links are in the description like always for you guys if you guys want to support me and patreon is not really your thing if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment down below it really does help me with that youtube algorithm don't forget to subscribe and to click that notification bell so you guys always know exactly when i post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias my instagram my twitch tiktok and twitter all at dapper darius much appreciated y'all let's hop into this black clover episode 130 and 131 this one's called the new magic knights captain conference and the next one's called a new resolve let's do this all right so i just skipped the opening again don't forget guys let me know when i can watch it let me know when all the spoilers are gone it's crazy seeing william back he's the hero who saved the kingdom Interesting. <laughs> Spirit user, come on. When Rill was being possessed, he ended up having a crush on Charmy in her dope mode. That is hilarious. <laughs> Not the crush on Charmy. And she's awake, too. She does have very pretty eyes. He looks so dapper for his age. Oh, does he now? <laughs> That's crazy when you think... This is not Julius. Okay. They're putting on a show just to make people feel at ease and stuff like that. And they don't want the news of kid Julius and non-powerful Julius to be out there as much. So it makes sense. Is that Owens though? It looks like Dr. Owens. Oh, the king doesn't even know. Shouts out, William. Has a sore throat. <laughs> oh my god. I was I was literally kind of hyped. I was like, who are we going to introduce? Who are we bringing out? Asta, somebody else, this, that, and the other. But no. Augustus Kira Clover. There are so many people who don't like Augustus Kira Clover, me being included. If we were ever, if we were to have any casualties or fatalities during the event, you know, I wouldn't be the saddest if it ended up being Augustus Kira Clover. <laughs> yep, I'm sure it is. <laughs> that was Yami and Jack just going at it, causing <laughs> chaos. Invincible, huh? It's interesting how we were accidentally just knocking it over and destroying it. It is nice to have William back to keep certain people on leashes because his influence is very great, you know. Leader of the Golden Dawn. Come on. That is hilarious. <laughs> like I'd ever choose a guy like that. He's literally wearing 
whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever. So, was that the meeting, or was that just the public meeting? Can we have an actual meeting now, or what's going on? See, this seems like the actual meeting now. I mean, you guys are definitely heavily involved in the next plots and the topics of the meeting, so it makes sense why you guys would be called in, you know? <laughs> yeah. If you need to heal or anything, we're, we'll be the ones. We'll volunteer. <laughs> so does Jack get it? Does he understand then? Okay. Alright. Alright, they both need to get kicked off the squads. Let's just see him go. Rill is still just spaced out. Thinking about Charm Me. Wow. Mmm, Damnatio's here. <laughs> he said, I'll gladly take you out. He's about to kill this man. All right, let's present our information and resources to the squad. Yep. I'm very excited and nervous to see them <laughs> in action. So we're having not just the Black Bowl specifically, but damn near all the captains, all the squads. Train as much as you can, and let's go face the Spade Kingdom in six months. Help out Lord Pe Pechka, which I'm very excited for. Some Sage Zeros. Woo -hoo -hoo. I mean, I respect it after everything that happened. I genuinely do. And what would that be? This is going to be his atonement? No, well, let's... Yes, let's get this straight. You did technically break the law, technically, but it was more not in your control whatsoever. Versus William, willingly let Patry into his body, willingly gave him up, willingly put him in front of Julius knowing that it was either Julius or Patrick who was going to be walking away. So I firmly agree with William's resolve in terms of let me atone with my life on the line for all that I've caused and take, yeah, I, I respect, I don't know if we should just be start pointing fingers now. So if that's the case, yeah, Charlotte, Kaiser, Rill. We need you now more than ever. Yeah, we'd have to get rid of all of them. Peace out, half our squad. Okay. Well, Damnatio is currently sticking with his his resolve. I still think he has plans until he's proven otherwise on executing Asta, which I firmly believe he will be proven otherwise. He's going to see Asta in action or something. And you can have him come in. Who is him? Oh, Gweldre. It's hard ham. A load of ancient magic items and jewels. Okay, yes, but that, how does that absolve him of his crimes? Just because he can get us money. Okay. I mean, I get this, but I would say we can pardon him maybe after, maybe after all this is done. 
So we'll see about this, because not only did he betray the Magic Knights and put everyone in danger, get people killed, ergo Fogolian, he's the reason Fogolian lost his arm damn near, but where does, okay, I have faith in Julius' decision. Wow. Well, the people who have a lot of money are cool with that. Yeah, they're royal, noble, rich. <laughs> I absolutely decline. Well, majority rules, so you're outvoted. That was the new Magic Knight Squad Captain's Conference meeting. That was quite interesting. <laughs> They're trying to get over on William. He's probably going to clean him out. These guys are shirtless, drunk. I firmly believe that. See, William's one of those rare ones where I feel like I would be okay with pardoning him because I genuinely feel like he, even though he did horrible things, he didn't do those with ill intent, you know? All right, I'm getting into the next episode, episode 131. This one's called A New Resolve. I'm pretty sure this is filler, but it's still going to be a fun time. Oh, are they practicing flying? Because Asa can't fly, but Noelle never really had control of her magic, so she never could fly. <laughs> Fine, I guess I could take you. That sounds exactly like Noel, so that's hilarious. Also sounds exactly like Noel. My ass. That is hilarious. I can't look at that the same now. That's literally fucking licked. You know, and Bell are coming too. He just says, fuck it, jumps right down. Competition, especially in rivalry, breeds only. Victory breeds winners, you know. Hmm. He's a good looking flower. Oh, is she bringing that flower to the top of uh, the head? A little resting place. That hella reminds me. That's literally like the first episode. That literally reminds me of the first episode of the show. I was like, whoa, is this what magic is like? I literally can vividly remember that in my head. <laughs> it's not really fair. He's running. You have magic. <laughs> it's not the most fair. But... I mean, it hasn't been the longest since we've seen them. We did just see them probably like, what, 30 episodes ago, 20 episodes ago, when we had to save the village from the elves, but it is still good seeing them. Good, good. Ever since the poison. Yeah, you're a devil. You're going to get murdered. Of course he's gonna believe you guys. He's Pops. Come on, this is the dude. Hell yeah. No one in Hodge. Come on, we've known Asa since we were a little kid. Not just this village. Let's do this. We saved the kingdom. Single. I don't want to say single handedly because we had a lot of help, but most definitely saved the kingdom. <laughs> it's the most famous Asa's ever been. That's hilarious. Oh, so we have a school now? Okay, that actually makes sense. That's funny. Wait, two peasants from our little town were be able to were able to come magic knights. So let's let's get together. Let's build a school. Let's get more of our children into some amazing positions. You know, we got Sister Lily being the teacher. Nero bringing some flowers up. 
to Lix and Lumiere's technically grave, somewhat. That's a little remembering of them. I will miss them. They are dope. What is she hearing? Is that Nash? Nash doing the same training Asa used to do back in the fucking skull? That's crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> will you marry me? He's gonna propose. And she's gonna hit him with a water fist. <laughs> yep. Not only did he do that, she beat him with a water fist. A little double KO. That's adorable. Right? How amazingly powerful you are, how cool you are, how his heart is set on you. Yes. <laughs> Imagine she's like, yeah, I'm actually 500 years old. You know that big demon statue over there i actually was there when we killed it oh we're gonna have a little substitute teacher with the magic knights that actually makes sense if i was a student a magic student i'd be down for a magic knight to come in teach a class <laughs> what is he gonna strip naked show him how to work out magic equals muscles no it does not <laughs> All the kids just start running with with Asta. That's adorable. <laughs> you know gonna be Big Dad? Why does Nero have a mustache? So Noel's the baby. And then Belle's gonna wake up and see him caressing Noelle, and she's gonna be extremely jealous. This is such weird baby talk. <laughs> yeah, what the hell is going on? Oh, wow. They're the ones who failed the old grimoire back in the day. Not failed the old grimoire, but they were there during that night trying that day trying to fuck with Asta and everything like that. So it's it's crazy having a throwback like this, you know? <laughs> Dope. Always down for, yeah, becoming good guys. Dope. You guys flying on a magic flying carpet. I agree. I firmly agree. Asa and Yuno are some prime time examples. That is our dream. If those kids could even become anywhere remotely near as Austin, you know, this this kingdom is in good hands for sure. Oh, a Tato party? I need to have me some Tatoes. I mean, that makes sense. He's definitely always looked up to Asta. Yeah, Nero was the one who heard him earlier in the school training. Which is exactly what Asha said. Muscles equals magic. Get out there. Oh, he's even drinking the juice. It probably tastes like ass. Nice. That was the big thing. That was the big thing that Austin, you know, opened his mind to, you know? Mm, that's gotta feel good. Especially 
seeing as to where you know you came from 500 years ago knowing that there's still potential and hope something to look forward to <laughs> they all brought tatoes for asta we got fried tatoes we got mashed tatoes we got boiled tatoes we got baked tatoes <laughs> Now everyone's seeing what a fine young man you've become. And you guys aren't even... Yeah, I was literally about to say, you guys aren't done yet. You guys are going to keep on going. Literally only just begun. That hella reminds me of like episode 2. When they did that fist bump exactly like that in the sunset and everything, this it, frame for frame, exactly like this. Thing. That was a fun couple episodes. Like I said, I'm ready for this next arc. I'm ready. Well, those were a fun two episodes, absolutely. In terms of the conference, exactly what I assumed, us gathering information, spreading our next goal upon defeating Magicula and Megacula and helping the Heart Kingdom with the Spade Kingdom. Every Magic Knight squad captain knows now. We got six months to train. We're going to be putting training regiments in. We're going to be getting everyone ready. Um, and that's what our main goal is now. You know, we have some people with some new resolve, some wanting to atone. William, I really enjoy William's new resolve. But that, some great setup. Some, Especially with Domnatio coming in and seeing a glimpse of what he's going to be seeing later on in terms of Asta's resolve and Asta doing what Asta does. But... Now coming over here, getting this little filler episode, going back to see Hodge, super fun. Seeing the kids, seeing all the throwbacks, uh, seeing the skull, having uh, Nero want to remember Lumiere licked, you know, and talk about the bright future and the hope that we have. And the it's just it's so good seeing Nash, all the kids, the teacher, the school. I really like the fact that Asta and Yuno heavily motivated this entire village just because they are the proof that you can really do anything. So because of that, let's. Let's continue to work harder. Let's continue to show them that we're, you know, the same. And I always appreciate that. I love that. Motivation, you know, creates motivation. I, I, I respect that. Damn, I'm excited, though. The next episode's called The Lion Awakens, and I think it's more about the Crimson Rain. Oh, some more training. I'm loving this training. I'm excited. I enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon if you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes. Four episodes early and the full-length versions. Um, don't forget to follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, yo. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there, Dapper Squad. Peace.